talking about the issue and the misconceptions with slave queens, okay? I don't understand what the obsession is with African men and slave queens. Like, allow these slave queens to be, okay? Like, I don't understand why there's so many misconceptions, there's so much talk, so much attack, okay? Um, I read this article on, um, let's see what the name of the site is. It's uh, monitor.co.ug, so I think it's a Ugandan um, publication, online publication. And my god, they have a whole article dedicated to dragging slave queens. Maka, they won't let them rest. I don't understand what the issue is. So, from what I've gathered, right, I mean, a slave queen, by definition, is just someone who, you know, like loves taking selfies. It's a very millennial term, okay? It's like a girl who loves taking selfies, who is bad as hell. It's what we would call a vain bad bitch. That's what you call a slay queen because what do they do? They slay in everything they do, which means like especially when it comes to their appearance, their fashion sense, their style, their wit, their everything is always on point. Their bank account is on point. Like they're just on point people. That's what a slay queen is. That's what we used to call a bad bitch, okay? Nowadays, I feel like African men literally equate slave queens to what you call a succubus. You know, an evil type, demonic, fine babe who just toys with men, get what she gets what she wants from men, and like keeps it moving, almost like a fuck girl. <laughs> and I'm like, really? Like, allow them to rest. Let 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 them sleep at night and wake up and know that yeah, they've had good rest instead of like hearing all these terrible things haunting them in their dreams from everything that you guys are saying about them let them rest let these slave queens be okay so let me tell you what i'm reading here oh it's written by a certain christine nakalungi hi christine <laughs> in case you're watching this um it says so my brother my dear brother if you do not have millions stashed away under your bed do not bother the slay queens. There are numerous girls who can make a wife and a mother for your children. A slay queen might do the same, but until she gets over the slay queen mentality, I suggest you watch her from a distance and let her outgrow that chapter of her life. So now I think Christine is trying to be the protector of men. <laughs> From slay queens. I don't understand. Like, um, at the end of the day, listen, a slay queen is a girl who is vain and it's a girl who presents herself well, who is about that luxurious life, who is about that living your best life mentality. That's it, okay? So, when people come and say, ah, uh, slay queen is this, you know, she would take your money. No, honey, that's a gold digger, not a slay queen. A gold digger, honey. Okay, a digger of platinum and gold, honey. That is not a slay queen. There's slay queens who are literally like killing it in their jobs. There's slay queens who are just killing it with their fashion and that's how they survive. There's slay queens who just want to be happy and like dressing up and smiling and sharing their joy. Whatever thing that um, happiness they can pull up to the world makes them happy within themselves, okay? Getting those likes makes them happy within themselves. Like it's their way of their artistic expression. Allow them to slay. Maka, what is your issue? Eh? The slay queen means that she will not take care of her children. Haven't you met vain women who literally can, you know, take care of their children, take care of their husband, take care of their households? Just because you're vain and, you know, it does not mean that you cannot do certain things. It's just part of who you are. Just an element and a component to you as a person. Okay? I'm just going to read one more um, quote from this um, article because it's so funny. It's incredibly funny. It's incredibly funny. I, I can't believe it. A friend has been dating a slave queen for some weeks now. He likes her, but the bill for her upkeep 
keeps going up with each passing day. Lately, she asked for a birthday vacation in Zanzibar. The man, the man had, the man has even never acquired a passport, and he is dating a girl who dreams of a weekend at an island outside of Uganda. Honey, that's a Ron's gal. That's a Ron's babe. <laughs> that's not a slave queen. Like people are really confusing this thing. Okay, a Ron's babe or a girl, a girl way I don't hear, hear, hear. Way I don't hear. Okay. That is the baby who ask you, babe, listen, are we not going to Paris for this weekend? Like, how fast? My birthday. You know, babe, like the Gucci bag just came out last week. Do you want to wait until this out for two weeks before you now buy it for me? Like, what are we doing in this relationship? Am I not making you happy? Am I not beautiful enough for you? How do you think this comes together? Don't you know that you have to invest in the thing that you like so that it can, you can continue to like it? Like, that, you know, that's Ross, babe. Maybe that's a girl I don't care who's like, you know, I have to be with a man of means, which is okay. Girl, nobody like, everybody likes what they like, that's cool. But to come and attack and slander the good name of slay queens in the name of, nah, they're not Ross, babes. You know, slave queens can buy their own tickets to go to Paris, wee oui, wee. Oui. Or they can maybe be dating someone or have a husband or a friend, you know, a girl even, a guy, somebody, or they might even invite them to some trip. That costs them almost nothing. You know what I mean? And then they would just jump on the ride and go, and they will be saying, like, ah, snapping here and there they're showing you their happiness and their best life they're not telling you how much is their account they're not telling you oh i'm a millionaire no they say oh i'm in paris it is you who is assuming that they're millionaires and now you're angry it is you who is assuming that they have money in their account that they're collecting from men did they tell you that they're not working did they tell you that maybe they were invited by a friend did they tell you that maybe their wonderful, nice boyfriend wants to treat them? No. All they know is that they are in Paris. Whether they are there for work or they are there for work too. That one take no concern. All that way take concern is like the picture. If you like it, like it. Can you go? Like, just like it. That's it. Like, stop trying to label and slam and slap and destroy and ruin the good name of Slick Queen. <laughs> I know I sound like a defender of slay queens, but I'm just I'm just actually sick and tired of the misconception. Okay, at the end of the day, let slay queens be. You know they're vain. They like to show themselves in happy situations, flaunting and flossing, honey. You know they want to look like Joanne the scammer, and it's you who's getting scammed. They're trying to scam you. You're scamming yourself. You are scamming your damn self, child. They're not trying to do anything. They're literally just living their lives. Okay, if now they say like, oh, I worked hard, God is good, I am now in Paris. When clearly one bobo or one pa, one old man paid for their trip. Then they are lying, then they are trying to scam, then they are scamming, then they are rugs babes, then they are whatever. It's like the demonic succubus. <laughs> Okay, so at the end of the day, like a righteous, real slay queen, literally, is all about slaying in whatever she does. She just wants to pop, 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 kill it. Okay? And a liar and a scammer is the one who lies about her source of income to live her best life. All that and slay queen, nothing to do with the other. Separate. So don't confuse both of them, okay? Can we allow slave queens to rest now? Okay? Slave queens can make good wives, they can make good sisters, good aunties, you know, good CEOs. Anyways, guys, so that was my little rant for today. It's like, let's let, you know, slave queens rest. That's it for this week. That's it for this vlog. Until next week, I've been here with La Chichi Mango from Pop Salt and Culture. <laughs>